Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about the solutions of the complex analysis with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Garg, you can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Garg, where you can find the various lectures and you can scan this Telegram channel link. What you can find on my YouTube channel is, this is the playlist of the CSRNet GATE examinations as well as the playlist of the GATE Mathematics, where you can find the solutions of the PD, Algebra, Differential Equations, MCQ, all of the previous year questions with the help of the shortcut tricks. So total of many videos are there. Similarly, you can find the shortcut tricks videos for the CSR net examination in the playlist where you can find all those previous year lectures and the solutions with the help of shortcut tricks. Now in this lecture, we will see how you can solve this complex analysis question. So if you read this question, what is given to you? Uh, this is some domain is given to you, f is the analytical function and f has the three zeros, f has the two zeros and true or false. Remember, what is the tips for you is, whenever there is a question related to the zeros in the complex analysis, what you can do, you always think about the one result called as Rauchy's theorem. What is the Rauchy theorem suggested you? If you have the two function f of g and g, f and the g, such that the absolute value of this is greater than of this then f and f plus g has the same zeros that's the simple meaning of this result so what the first part is f has a three zero in the d what is the d is this is my d mod of z is one how you can find that now f has a three zero so if i simply consider this as my f which of po polynomial three degree this is my of g then what is the mod of f over the domain of this so i can return this number as 1 plus 25 why because what is the mod of f is mod of z plus 25 of this this number is my less than 1 this number is less than 1 so that's a 26 similarly you can find on the g so g will be it is this number is 1 so 1 over 5 factorial 1 over 6 factorial and so on definitely this answer will be 0 point something hence mod of f is greater than of the mod g therefore this result is applicable what is the zeros of the f what is the f f is my here how many zeros are there it's a degree 3 so f has 3 zeros similarly this also has the 3 zeros so it means the first answer is my correct option so p is false this D and the B options is cancelled. Now look what the second options. How you can solve that? That means in this case you have to find this is my mod of Z is half. And your target is to find the number of the zeros in here. So what is the meaning of that? So that is the simple target about that. That's a, again a very simple. You have to find the one zero in between them. It means this has a three zeros. If I prove this has a two zeros, that is whenever this is here, it has two zeros, then my this statement is correct. Now let's see again. What is this? Our mode of Z is less than of half. I can take here. This is half plus 25, one over two cube. So it is three point something. That's the answer of this. And what is the value of the mod of g? It is 1 over 2 raised to power 5 over 5 factorial. 1 over 7 raised to power, sorry, it's a 7. So 1 over 7 factorial over 7 and so on. Definitely, its answer is 0 point something. Again, you can see this number is greater than here. So it means f on this domain, how many zeros has there? Three zeros. So it has three zeros. So how many zeros are there in between? That's are 0 because all the roots are lies in between them. So it means it has 0 roots, 0 zeros. It means this option is cancel out. The right answer is my A is the correct answer. Look what the another one. So how you can find the A6 and A5? A is my here. That's a very simple. There are the two methods. The first method is how you can find the in journal the coefficient of the A and that is the nth derivative at the center over n factorial. What is the center is? I can return this number as here. So this is my z0. So what is my a6? 
you can see it's a sixth derivative over six factorial so can you find if this is my f of z are you able to find the sixth derivative of this it is not an easy task for you so it means this method is you can try to solve this but if you want to get the answer in a quick time then i will suggest you the second method what you do that i can simply write this function expand form i can write this function as z times 1 minus of here and we all know what is the series of this it is 1 plus x plus x square and so on so i can write this number as 1 plus x plus x square and so on that's over now rest is rest is a very simple task how you can find the a6 how you can find the coefficient of a6 so this is a z time so what is this this is the coefficient of z5 because z1 is already be outside that so when you multiply them it's a z5 how you find the a for a5 this is z into coefficient of z raised to power 4 that's over now how you can find that because it's sometime as a cube sometime as a 4 so i can write in the journal form how you can write how you can open this and we i can write this in the series form that is a binomial series so 2 c r z raised to power r z square raised to power 2 minus r so what is that 2 c r z raised to power 4 minus r similarly for the q part it will be 3 c r z raised to power 6 minus r 4 c r z raised to power 8 minus r 5 c r z raised to power 10 minus r and so on that's a simple target for this now you can write the answers what is the coefficient of the z raised to power 5 is there any value in here which involves the z power 5 no yes for this r is equal to 1 for this case when r is equal to 1 it will be 3 c 1 in this case is there any value of r for which is a z raised to power 5 yes r is equal to 3 so 4 c 3 is there any value of r 5 so it's a 5 c 5 the next part is 6 c 3 so it will not be here because the next term is 12 minus r so is there any value it's a 7 but 7 will not be there so what is the answer of this 3 4 1 is a a how you find this one so z raised to power 4 there is no term is there any term which is z raised to power 4 r is equal to 0 so when r is equal to 0 it will be 2 c 0 is there any term in here corresponding to z raised to power 4 yes this is r is equal to 2 when r is 2 it is a 3 c 2 in this term r is equal to 4 it is a 4 c 4 is there any term corresponding to z raised to power 4 r is equal to 6 but there is no term r is equal to 6 here so what is the answer this is 1 3 1 is a 5 so what is the answer of this 8 plus 5 is 13 is the correct answer of this problem so this is the way you can easily solve this problem in a very simple manner i hope you can simply learn that you can find all those lectures that is available at my youtube channel all are the same way shortcut tricks you can solve them in a very simple manner either related to the csr net examinations or related to the gate mathematics solutions of these all previous years lectures i hope you can simply enjoy this session you can like share and comment on this my videos best of luck students happy learning